Good morning, Paul Georgie from Allendale. It's September 23rd, Monday morning, and uh, grain markets uh, mixed this morning. We've got wheat a little higher, beans steady, corn under uh, a little bit of pressure, uh, although uh, not as low as it was uh, early late to early uh, trade yesterday. Uh, weekend rains uh, did some uh, good for the soybeans. Uh, it is thought, and they were about as expected. However, weather forecast for the the coming week looks to be dry, and uh, looks like uh, harvest should get underway in in a much uh, much broader area. And uh, that's main reason why we're seeing pressure in the corn market here this morning. We've got crop conditions reports out this afternoon. Uh, expected that soybean. Uh, conditions in the good to excellent category could increase maybe one to two percent from that 50 percent good to excellent last week corn harvest uh, should increase as well we had four percent complete last week uh, we could be up to 11 to uh, 13 percent this week soybean harvest uh, could be in that four to five percent complete on this uh, report this afternoon other news we did have the CFTC uh, report out the commitment of traders report out on Friday uh, the spotlight there uh, was the uh, increase in uh, short positions by the managed money they increased 40,000 contracts up to 104,211 contracts now uh, net short uh, wheat uh, slightly uh, slight increase on their short positions and soybeans a slight increase on the uh, long positions that they're carrying. The uh, focus as we uh, move ahead this week, uh, we think, is the uh, uh, September 30th quarterly stocks report uh, that the uh, USDA is going to have to deal with the uh, export sales that were above the uh, their forecast uh, and the domestic usage and crush numbers that are very good. Where are they going to get the uh, soybeans from to keep that ending stocks at 115 to 125 uh, million bushels? So that's going to be a focus and it's going to be a talk as we uh, move forward this week. Um, harvest is uh, continuing. We're getting reports out of uh, uh, places like Champaign County, Illinois, that uh, corn yields not as good as their five-year average there. However, just a few miles west over at Springfield, Illinois, they're saying that uh, corn yields are anywhere from 10 to 15 uh, percent above their uh, expected yields. So uh, very good yields over there. Some uh, soybean harvesting around Peoria, Illinois, and they're uh, uh, getting uh, the first harvest anyway is around 60 bushel an acre, which is uh, not bad for an area that uh, had been very dry. We did have in pharma's numbers out on Friday. They actually increased soybean production from uh, the USDA at 3.14 uh, million bushel. They increased it up to 3.22 uh, million bushel. The uh, basis, uh, we're seeing corn basis uh, under pressure at the uh, processing level. Ethanol plants uh, basically steady, but uh, not a lot of movement over the weekend because of the, uh, the rains. And the cheaper prices is also causing producers to put the grain in the bins rather than uh, selling it in the cash market at, uh, at lower levels. Uh, outside news uh, out of Germany, Merkel uh, did win the election there for the third term, so that uh, providing some support for the euro. Uh, we did have the HSBC China uh, PMI number came out over the weekend. That's showing uh, an improvement as well at 51.2 uh, versus the 51.1 uh, last month. In the livestock trade, uh, we had the cattle on feed report on Friday afternoon. That was considered uh, uh, friendly. Uh, the um, numbers there were, in all categories, were below what the trade was expecting, which uh, actually is uh, uh, a good uh, surprise to the market, uh, expecting that we should open higher here this morning. Uh, we could run into some stops above recent highs that uh, 
uh, could uh, propel this market even higher here on the opening. So uh, we'll be watching that very closely. We did have cutout values uh, in the beef uh, down on Friday, down 62 in the choice, down uh, 94 in the select. Uh, pork cutout uh, was uh, up 96. So uh, cash cattle did trade last week late, uh, right after the uh, report was out. Uh, they actually traded a dollar higher. Tight supplies in the uh, fed cattle should provide some uh, some support under this uh, uh, cattle futures. Hog supplies uh, continue to be very tight uh, this week with harvest uh, momentum picking up. Uh, we could see a slowdown in uh, hog movement, which could uh, provide some support under the uh, cash market as well. So a lot of things going on this week as we uh, near the end of September. Uh, if you got any questions, give us a call. And want to remind everybody to uh, tune in to the uh, September Allendale Ag Leaders uh, webinar that will be held uh, tomorrow night, Tuesday night at 8 o'clock. Uh, you can go right online uh, and uh, log in. It's free. Uh, if you got any questions, give us a call, 800-262-7538. We wish everybody a very successful trading day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow morning. Thank you.